Good afternoon on Sunday, April 28th, 2024. Best pitchers, pitchers, multiple. 1895, I came up with five guys that had two pitching categories each. I got to give it to all five of them. This is the rare instance where it's not just one individual pitcher. But for 1895, there are five of them that stand out. I got to give it to all of them. Who's the first one? Pink Holly. Two categories. Most shutouts and most innings pitch, 444. Shutouts, he had four. But there are four other guys with two categories each. Bill Hoffer, two categories. Shutouts, four. Tied, Pink Holly. And winning percentage, 837. I'll give it to him. The third guy for 1895, Theodore Bryanstein. Two categories. Game started 51, complete games 47. Two categories. The fourth guy, Hall of Famer, Cy Young. Two categories. Most victories, 36. And he had four shutouts. And the last guy, Amos Rusi for 1895. Two categories. Strikeouts, 201. And shutouts, four. So there are five guys in 1895 with two categories each. I couldn't decide who was the best pitcher for that year. I'm giving it to all five. Let's look at these guys, okay? Pink Holly, not in the Hall of Fame. Ten-year career, 167 victories. 1895, though, 444 innings. That was the most. Pink Holly had a losing career record. 167 wins, 179 losses. Not in the Hall of Fame. Second guy, Bill Hoffer. He's not in the Hall of Fame. Six years in the league. Not very much. 92 wins, 46 losses for his career. But for 1895, he had four shutouts and a winning percentage, 838. Very good. 31 and 6. Good year. Third guy, Theodore Brinstein. Brian Stein, not in the Hall of Fame. His career record losing, 160 wins, 170 losses. But for 1895, he had 47 complete games. 51 games started, that was the most in the league, and 47 complete. His record that year, 19 and 30. Really can't say that he was one of the best. We can't say he's the best pitcher, but we can say with 47 complete games, that is noteworthy. But he's not a Hall of Famer. Fourth guy is, have you heard of this guy? Cy Young. I think everyone who follows baseball knows who Cy Young is. There's a pitching award category given to the best pitcher for each individual year. I think it started off in the 1960s or 70s, right in there. They started giving out the Cy Young Award. This guy, amazing career, 22 years in the league. Listen to this, 511 victories, but 315 losses. He holds the record not only for wins, he holds a record for pitching losses. Of course, we know he had 815 games started and completed 749. Whoa. 1895, 35 wins, 10 losses, 4 shutouts. 
<laughs> Hall of Fame, why? 511 victories. A record. 749 complete games. A record. 7,356 innings. A record. Did you know he holds the record for the most hits given by a pitcher? 7,092 hits allowed. A record. You want to hear something else? He holds the record for most runs allowed. 2,147. And he holds the record for most batters faced. 29,000. 565 batters faced in his career. Cy Young. But for 1895, I'm giving him the best pitcher for that year. And the last guy is Amos Rusi, who goes back to back to back. He won 1893, 1894, and now he ties... 1895, three victories on his resume as far as best pitcher for an individual year. He had four shutouts and 201 strikeouts. His record that year, 23 and 23. All right, so for 1895, again, a recap. Five guys tied with two categories each. Pink Holly. Bill Hoffer, Theodore Brian Stein, Cy Young, and Amos Roos. Two are in the Hall of Fame, Amos Roos and Cy Young. The rest of the guys didn't make it. Next video, 1896. Stay tuned. I'm out.